Hello everybody and welcome back to Workshop Wednesdays. Today, I don't want to overhype this episode, but this time around we got some special stuff. Not special, but just pretty cool stuff. Let's get started. <laughs> Here's the first one. The Prime Mate. Get it, because mate. Uh, anyway, this one's for Scout. Obviously one of the Halloween ones. So we got some more uh, animals, right? Well, Halloween edition. So this would join the already existing Monkey for the Engineer and Monkey for the Soldier. So we'd have three Monkey Cosmetics and Team Fortress 2. If you ask me, that's not a bad thing. Next up, I've got the poker face. No, this is not just not loading or something. This is just weird looking. <laughs> it's missing the eyes and the lips. And there's something else that's off. I can't really, I, I can't really put my finger on it. Anyway, it's very cursed. An obvious contender for Halloween updates in the future. Right, next. Is this atrocity? This looks so cursed. This looks like a, like it's straight from a horror game, man. And no, that's not blood. Those are just stitches. Which makes it somehow even weirder. <laughs> oh my god, it's got Pac-Man for its eyes. Dude, that's incredible. Anyway, this is a scout cosmetic. Because he's like, he's got the mascot thing going on. So it even kind of fits the lore. What I really like about this is if you paint it, you do not paint the white around stuff. But the stitches and the cap, you can like have a pink cap, black cap, orange cap, whatever you want, you know. But the thing itself stays the same. I just Look at this render, man. That is... Oof, that makes me anxious. Anyway, it also comes with those gloves and those uh, shoes that just go with the set, as you can see, also paintable, you know, as is usual. Next item is a taunt. I actually haven't seen this before, so you're seeing my live reaction right now. <laughs> okay. That is a little strange. What is what is happening? Is he dancing? Is he? Oh yes, he is. <laughs> I thought he was gonna catch him or something. I don't know. Okay. Well, that there was a fine piece of work. All right, all right okay. <laughs> That did not go the way I expected it at all. I thought he was gonna like catch someone in front of him, but that makes a lot more sense because you. How how would you do that in game? You could you couldn't catch anyone. A straight wouldn't work. All right, so that's cool. That was the Texas Twirlum description. Y'all know there's more to it than catching cattle and spies. Gotcha. Okay. Next <laughs> is the the crew shifter. <laughs> is it just me, or is spy looking kind of sus? I don't know. Is it still funny? It is not. I know it's not. That's why this is in here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I need to say this specifically. Last time I had one of those in the video, and I said, Oh, that's so cringe. There was a bunch of you guys who actually went out of the way to harass the creator. Dude, I think this is funny. Please leave some positive feedback on this one specifically. I'm, act I'm dead serious. If I see one negative comment, I'm gonna cry. And you don't want to make me cry, okay? Please. Look, you can even pay them. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty cool, right? And would it even be weirder? Think about this. Would it even be any weirder than this? I don't think so. I really don't think so. All right, next up, the greatest gift. <laughs> How did anyone have this idea yet? It's just money. It's just straight money on the mercs. Like, that's that's genius. They're just rich. Look, every one of them's got money. The only thing that's a little sad about this is because it's a cosmetic, and like a, a, a non-hat cosmetic, you can't get it in, in unusual. So you can't have it with uh, the dead president effect. But that's all right, you know? It's still money. It still just means you're rich. So it's cool. Speaking of money, if you guys want to support me, just join my Twitch. I, I live stream. You don't have to give me money. I just, I, that was a weird way to plug it. Anyway, I got a Twitch. Next item. The top brass. Look, guys. It's creepy and intimidating. This one's all class, and I think it's gonna look great on all classes. It's got some evil military force vibe to it, if you know what I mean. Maybe it's just me. And this is the cosmetic I included, because it just looks cool. There's always one or two cosmetics that I include. Not because they're funny, goofy, or special, but because they straight up just look good. This one just looks good. Next up, the disappearance. Appearing act. This is for Spy. As you can see here, he takes a buddy out of the hat. This is sadly not part of the uh, cosmetic, but I don't think it needs it. Look at it. 
It's just a big top hat with like a, a magic wand next to it and some cards. This is like your your average tryhard spy cosmetic, which is also in here straight up because it just looks really good. That's the reason why I included it. Right next, the civil serpent. The civil serpent is a hat for the sniper, as you can see here. And the here with jiggly bones physics, which means it jiggles up and down when you run around, which is always a nice little bonus. It stays with the theme of sniper being a bushman. Oi, mate. <laughs> Was that, was that a good Australian impression? I don't know if it was. Anyway, snake on sniper's head. Next item. Wow, this is cool, guys. L look at how cool he is. <laughs> Sadly, it does not come with no no clothes and scouts upper body, but only like the cool hair and the uh, and necklace and, uh, and the sunglasses, which is still plenty of stuff, you know? You get you buy one cosmetic, you get the hair, the sunglasses, and the necklace. That's really cool, man. That's a, a nice combo. But really, it's mainly in here because of this render. <laughs> Movember man. That one is uh, every class with like a little bit of a beard going on. It, give, it gives every class a stubble. Uh, just a bit of a beard going on. Even for Scout, look, uh, you can see it in this one. Even Pyro, <laughs> it's painted on there, I think. I think that's meant to be like just painted on. And they got this image where every little Merc is scared of a razor. Yeah, look, look at Inji. He's ready. He's ready to destroy. Yeah, yeah anyway, that was, the, that was the Movember Man. I think it's really cool because it's got so much going on on the, on the workshop page. It looks pretty old school too. Anyway, the mountain man. That one is animated, so <laughs> you can... I don't know if that's gonna be in-game. I really hope it is. Just getting a, a little soldier wink. <laughs> yeah. But even if not, just look at this, man. <laughs> this is really sweet. Uh, that's the mountain man. Soldier cosmetic. Hope it makes it in. Next item, the Smith's mask. That one's for Pyro. And a concept that I haven't seen before. But I guess there's a lot of new interesting stuff. But this is like, this is a cool idea, you know what I mean? It's, it's the hat but it's like wrapped around the mask instead of as an actual hat. Which begs the question, can you wear it with a Santa hat extra like the beer mock? I don't know. Regardless of that, you can paint it. I think it even jiggles around a little bit. Yeah, it does. But yes, it does. It does. So it's got jiggly bones physics. <laughs> and look at the combinations, man. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh, with the, with the bread eyes. Oh, God. Next, my personal favorite of today, Croc Talk. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. I hope I did. A sniper hat, as you can see, it's paintable. But what the main thing is about this that makes it so cool is look at how bouncy it is. <laughs> this is such a cool hat, man. This is so. It gives me Yoshi vibes. I don't know if that's on purpose. Maybe it is. This one's incredible. I want you guys to, to comment weird Yoshi if you made it this far into the video. Yeah, I did a uh, call to action. There's a call to action. You guys need to go do. Yeah, next item. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a revisit. We're revisiting the Butler 2000 because uh, I only now discovered the thirsty style. I don't know if I had that in the first video. I don't think I did. This one's got a, a really big drink. For those of you who've never seen it, uh, this is like a little robot that follows you around. And it's got a drink on its little board there. And uh, it's got a big drink if you put it into thirsty style. That's that's all I wanted to show you. Next is the Top Chef. This one's for Spy. It's just a huge hat. Huge, ginormous one, one might say. I like it, because Spice French and uh, somehow being a cook with this kind of beard is very French. <laughs> Does that make sense? I, I think that makes sense. Anyway, next item, the motorized mask. This one reminds me of the sentry hat that I had in one of my previous videos. It's very close to that. It's not quite the same thing, but the art style is a similar direction. And we got one last item. Last but not least, Squire's sock. It makes Scout look like Zelda. <laughs> Simon! That's not Zelda, that's Link. And also pigeons are doves. Okay, listen here, man. I'm, stop telling me about the pigeon thing, okay? Some of you won't even know what I mean. But just, just stop. Stop talking about the pigeon. Anyway, that was it for today. I hope you liked the video. Go check my Twitch. Go check my Discord. And anyway, that's the end of the video. See you next time. Bye.